This is Mathematics Alive. Today's lesson is the greatest common factor and least common multiple. The greatest common factor of two or more given numbers is the largest natural number that can divide all of the given numbers A and B. It is the product of the common prime factors of the given numbers. Example, the GCF of 12 and 20 is 4, since 12 is divisible by 4 and 20 is divisible by 4. Relatively prime numbers. Two or more numbers which have no common factors other than 1 are called relatively prime numbers. Example, 4 and 5. 4 is not prime, but with regards to the partnership 4 and 5, they are relatively prime because they have no common factor except 1. Rules for finding the greatest common factor of any number pair A, B, where A is less than B. If A and B have no common factors other than 1, they are relatively prime and the GCF of A and B is equal to 1. Examples A. GCF of 8 and 9 is 1. B. GCF of 12 and 25 is 1. C. GCF of 3 and 10 is 1 since they have no common factor. And D. The GCF of 4 and 15 is 1. Number 2. If A can divide B, the GCF of A and B is equal to A, or A is the smaller number, and if the smaller number can divide the bigger number, the GCF is the smaller number. So for the examples here, we have 12 and 48. Since 12 can divide 48, the GCF is 12. Letter B. 9 can divide 36, so the GCF is 9. And letter C, the GCF is 4. Letter D, the GCF is 6. Number 3. If A and B have common prime factors, then get the product of all those common factors. If some common prime factors are raised to any power, choose the common factor with the least power. Examples, um, 12 and 18, the GCF is 6. Here are the solutions. Letter A, we factor 12 and 18, and we can see the common factors. We have 2 squared and 2, and we choose the factor, common factor with the smaller power. And uh, here we have 3 and 3 squared. So the factors that we will pick up are 2 and 3 and multiply them to get 6. Letter B, 12 and 40. Factoring them, the common factor is 2 to the second power since uh, we have 2 cubed here and 2 squared and we choose only the factor raised to the least power. So the GCF is equal to 4. And letter C, 54 and 90, the GCF will be 2 and 3 squared. So 2 times 3 squared is equal to 18. Applications of the GCF. In getting the lowest terms of a fraction, divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF. Okay, number one, the GCF of 12 and 48 is 12. So the lowest terms of 12 over 48 is equal to 1 fourth when we divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF. Number two, 12 over 18, divide 12 and 18 by six and the lowest term is two-thirds. Then number three, 50 over 75, divide both by 25, 
and the lowest terms is two thirds. Let us move on to the least common multiple or LCM. The least common multiple of two or more given numbers is the smallest number divisible by each of the given number. And here are the rules for finding the LCM of any pair AB where A is less than B. Number one, if A and B are relatively prime, then the LCM of A and B is the product A times B. Okay, for example, letter A, 4 and 15 are relatively prime. The product is 60. So the LCM is 60. Likewise, in letter B, we have 3 times 8, the LCM is 24. And letter C, 2 times 3 times 5, the LCM is 30. Rule number 2, if A can divide B, the LCM of A and B is equal to B. So, 9 and 36. Since 9 can divide 36, the LCM is 36. Letter B, 6 can divide 48, so the LCM is 48. Letter C, the LCM of 12 and 60 is 60. And letter D, the LCM of 15 and 45 is 45. Number three, if A and B have common factors, express both numbers in completely factored form and then get the product of all the prime factors. If the common factors are raised to any power, choose the common factor with the highest power. Examples, the LCM of 15 and 54. Since 15 is three times five and 54 is three cubed, times 2, then you get this factor which has the highest power, the common factor, uh, which, the high, which has the highest power is 3 cubed. And then you multiply it by the rest of the factors, 2 and 5. So we get 270. Letter B, 12 and 40. The common factor here is 2, but the highest power is 2 cubed. So we have 2 cubed times 3 times 5 is 120. And let us see, we have um, 2 cubed times 3 squared. And the answer is 72. Application of the LCM. In addition of fractions with different denominators, we find the LCD by getting the LCM of all the denominators of the fractions given. Example number one, we have one fourth and two thirds. So we raise the, uh, the fractions to highest terms where the denominator should be the LCM, 12. That's why for one fourth, we multiply it by three over three and for Two thirds, we multiply it by four over four to get a common uh, denominator or the LCD of 12. And then we add the numerators, three plus eight. And the answer is 11 over 12. Number two, five, two, and three, the LCM is 30. So the LCD of the fractions is 30. And then we raise the fractions to higher terms with the LCD of 30. So we just add the numerators, 24 minus 15 plus 10 is equal to 19 over 30. So try these exercises. You will learn by doing. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching.